In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to log in on Google Classroom. Navigating the digital space for education has become a norm and Google Classroom stands out as a powerful tool for managing your studies or teaching workflow. Whether you're a student trying to access your course materials or a teacher looking to organize your classroom digitally, this guide is tailored to help you log in to Google Classroom smoothly and efficiently. First things first, we need to start at the very beginning. Open your preferred web browser and type in google.com. This is your gateway to accessing not only Google Classroom, but all other Google services. The familiar homepage of Google should greet you, but what we're interested in is located at the top right corner of this page, the sign in button. It's usually signified by a blue button and clicking it is your first step into accessing Google's ecosystem of services. After clicking the sign in button, you'll be prompted to choose your Google account. For most users, this will be the account that you use for all things Google, from YouTube to Gmail. If you have multiple accounts, make sure to select the one associated with your educational institute or the one that you intend to use for Google Classroom. Once you've selected your account, the next step involves a key part of securing your account typing in your password. Make sure to enter it carefully. If you've forgotten your password, don't worry. Google provides steps to recover your account directly beneath the password field. After entering your password, click on the Next button to proceed. Having successfully entered your password and clicked Next, you're now logged into your Google account. But we're not quite done yet. To navigate to Google Classroom, look towards the top right of the Google Services homepage. Here you'll find the Google Apps menu, often represented by a grid of dots. Clicking this will drop down a menu of all the Google apps available to you. Within this plethora of apps lies Google Classroom. It might require a bit of scrolling depending on how many Google services you use, but once you find it, click on it and voila, you are now inside your Google Classroom dashboard. From here you have access to all your classes, assignments, and any material your teachers have shared with you. Now that we've gone through the steps, here are a few tips to enhance your Google Classroom experience. One. Asterisk, asterisk. Always log out. If you're using a shared or public computer, always remember to log out of your Google account to keep your information secure. Two, asterisk, asterisk. Password management. Consider using a password manager if you manage multiple accounts or have trouble remembering your passwords. This can simplify the login process while keeping your account secure. Three, Asterisk, asterisk. Bookmark Google Classroom. To save time, you might want to bookmark the Google Classroom page in your browser. This way you can access it directly without going through the Google homepage each time. Four, asterisk, asterisk. Browser compatibility. While Google Classroom works on most browsers, Using it on Google Chrome provides the best experience, especially if you're planning to use extensions or additional Google services. Five, asterisk, asterisk. Mobile app. Google Classroom also has a mobile app available for both Android and iOS. This can be incredibly handy for staying updated on your classes and assignments while on the go. By following these steps and tips, you're well on your way to making the most out of Google Classroom. It's a powerful platform that once mastered, can greatly enhance your learning or teaching experience. Whether you're tackling new subjects or organizing your students, Google Classroom facilitates a connected, streamlined educational journey. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.